Good afternoon, everyone. And this is just a gorgeous plus four sunny day here at good old Uplands. And today we're just doing a quick maintenance day. Things have been going quite well. But we're going to do our uh, brake tests on the 2012 Doppelmayr Quad, which uh, here I'll spin you around and show you. Very spring conditions here. Beautiful day for it. All right, here she is. So this is a Doppelmayr SeaTac. You'll see a, a whole lot of SeaTac in it, including the drive itself. Line gear and chairs, of course, are all Doppelmayr. But uh, very nice little lift. You can see four towers here. She's not overly long, but uh, does them well here. See, the guys did some snow making. That looks great. Of course, haven't been able to open up. Uh, this is Alpine down the far side here, unfortunately. Just poor guys, every time they're ready to move on, they got to go back and make some more snow to keep the existing terrain open. So, it's been a heck of a year to try to run a ski hill in Ontario, but guys are doing a great job here in, well, north end of Toronto. We're right at uh, 407 and Young Street, basically. So, pretty far south. There's only three other hills further south that I know of, and they've got uh, a little bit more uh, infrastructure for this sort of thing. But hey, I'll show you how to do a uh, brake test on these ones. It's uh, way too easy. Okay, we're in the bottom terminal here. So on our main screen, we're going to go to work. Oh, don't you look at that password now. If you work on Doppelmeyers, you'll know what it is. All right. So we're into our main panel here. So we're going to go to brake tests. We're going to put the drive to test mode. And we're unmanned, unmanned, top and bottom. Okay, so we're in the screen here. We're going to do our service brake first. So what we do is push. And then let the computer do its thing. I was doing brake tests on BMs this morning. It's not this easy, let me tell you. There'd be chains, torque wrenches, swearing, all the things. So, you can see down here, the brake service brakes engaged. Now we're looking at the difference up here between the torque of the brake open and the brake closed. Oh, sweet squealing. So what we're going to do is subtract the value of 89 from 44. So it's 46. 45, 45, right, yes, sorry. That's why I have a lift mechanic. And then we'll compare it with what was on the low test and that will give you an indication of the proper function of that particular brake. So you're looking at, th those are the values you're gonna look at, compare it to your low test and make sure they're within a certain percentage point. So we do that with our emergency brake and then our rollback. So we'll just carry on here. Okay, so here we are up in the motor room. Again, 2012 Doppelmayr fixed grip quad. So your tensioning unit here, Kubota evac motor, brake controller over here, primary mover, little AC unit, fuel storage, battery backups, battery backups, and then the uh, gearbox here, which is kind of neat. So you got... Uh, a little gearbox up top here, which then feeds into a planetary that the uh, bow wheels mounted on. So yeah, it's a, uh, it's kind of neat. Seems to work well. Just the cutest little service brake you ever saw. E-brake is located. Oh, actually on the uh, planetary. The rollbacks uh, actuates on the bow wheel. The uh, e-brake actuates on the output shaft which apparently this whole planetary setup is like out of a D9 dozer, I think. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, it's just a, almost an off the shelf kind of setup. So the only thing I dislike about that, it's not a bad brake, seems to work fine. But if you ever need to replace, replace pads or anything on it, you have to drop the bull wheel. So that's a little intensive. Hopefully we won't have to do pads on it anytime soon because that's going to be a lot of work, but Nice little motor room. Could be a little bit on the bigger side, but uh, certainly enough room to 
do all your basic maintenance and um, well, hey, it works. What can you do?